Welcome to How To Metrology. In this episode, we're going to talk about installation of a tool rack on your OGP system. This is done through the Portal software. Portal is what you're using when you've got a machine with Zone 3, Measure X, or legacy users of Measure Mine. Uh, we're also going to need, in addition to the tool rack, you'll have some hardware needs for the installation base and a qualification sphere. So today we're doing our demonstration on an OGP Flash Smart Scope. This is a Model 500, a little bit bigger table than many machines out there. This machine right now, we've got it equipped with two different kinematic mounts. The black one is the older style, it's got magnets on it. The newer style is the stainless steel system with extra magnets. Either one will work, but whichever you have, you will need at least one. Uh, the kinematic mount allows you to install a sphere remove the sphere when you're done qualifying your stylus and then install your tool rack. So since this particular machine has two kinematic mounts, we're going to use one kinematic mount for the tool rack and the second kinematic mount will be used for our qualification sphere. Make sure it's snapped in there in the right spot, shouldn't move anymore. Also on your tool rack, make sure you leave your bays open to get started. From the portal screen, select System. Follow that by selecting ICE, I-C-E. This will take a moment to start up. To add your change rack, you're going to left mouse click on Change Rack. Then you'll right mouse click and choose Configured, followed by Add MCR 20. This will default to three ports. Now most OGP systems come with either a two port or a four port tool rack. So the first example we're going to do is for a two port. We're going to eliminate the third port. By doing that we go under general rack settings assign a name the name we're going to call this is MCR20. Don't use spaces here. So for a two port user, we're going to remove that third port. It shows three ports. Port three will be removed. Click on remove last port icon. Left mouse click on port three, followed by clicking on remove last port. If you remove a port, a window appears letting you know the rack needs to be aligned. Click yes. The last port is then removed. In this example, we're left with two. Click finish. For four port users, we're going to do a similar process here. And we'll choose the change racks. Configure MCR20. Go to the top, change the name from New Dock to MCR20. Again, no spaces here. We'll click the Add icon. A window should appear letting you know the rack needs to be aligned. Click Yes. A new port is added. In this example, you'll see port four. Click Finish. Notice there's a red circle with an X to the left of the tool rack you just added. This means the tool rack has not yet been aligned. The next step, we're going to activate the touch probe. Left mouse click on the name of touch probe. In this example, click on the name Touch probe one. Right mouse click and choose activate. Select the qualified two by 20 millimeter stylus and attach it manually. 
In this example, we're selecting the stylus called 2PO by 20 millimeters underscore SF. To do this, left mouse click on 2P0 by 20 millimeter underscore SF. Right mouse click and choose attach manually. After you mount your tool rack with all four bays open, you'll also need to make sure you have a qualified probe stylus that is a two millimeter ball by 20 millimeters long, qualified and ready to go for the location of your tool rack. I'm gonna mount that here in the probe system. Select the change rack you want to align using the left mouse button. Right mouse click, choose Compensate. Notice two options are available. Locate change rack, we will call this method one, and locate change rack basic, we'll call this method two. Method two alignment of the MCR tool rack is what we're going to go through here. This is the method you use if method one, for whatever reason, doesn't work. It's a little bit longer process, that's why we did this second. Turn on the ring light so you can see what you're doing. In the top center of the screen, above step one, you see prerequisites, underlined in blue. Click on this to see the prerequisites for aligning a change rack. Select rack to align using drop down arrow, step one. In this example, we will select MCR 20. Your stylus module has a groove. You're going to align this groove with the tool rack in the next process. Make sure the groove of the force module is between the upper and lower lip so it is centered. You'll see the picture on your screen. Click next. Drive the stylus away from port one to a safe clearance position for tool changes. Then you can click next. A window appears with a picture of a tool rack prompting you to take two points, P1 and P2, at the end of the tool rack. Take point one before point two, and both points should be taken at the same Z height. If you take the points out of order, the program will work backwards and drive off the back of your machine in this example. Place a check in the checkbox called Improve Rack Location. Click Next. Move probe to the center of port one. Then measure a point on the change rack between the upper and lower rim using the shank or the shaft of the stylus. Not the ball, but the shaft. Your software screen will show you where to take these points if you need more clarification. Move the probe away from the tool rack and turn the speed down with your potentiometer on your joystick panel. Then you can click next. The machine will then kick in CNC mode and realign the tool rack in an automated mode. Click finish when the machine is completed measuring and locating the tool rack. A report appears showing the tool rack has been aligned. You can close the report. Notice there's a green circle with a check to the left of the tool rack you just added. This means the tool rack is aligned and ready for use. Thanks for watching this episode of How To. Hopefully you've learned everything you need and have all the materials you need to install your new tool rack. If you have any additional needs, check out our website or give us a call.